Hi everyone, um, I hope you're doing well. So, um, since that last, um, since my word from the Lord a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago now, I, I forget how long it has been, but um, I think about a week after I got that word, I was uh, just wanting to hear more from the Lord. I was like, Lord, I hope this isn't it. I hope you have more words for me or more something, anything. Um, I didn't just want this to be a one-time thing. So um, I was uh, been praying the prayer, um, Lord, I just want to experience more of you. I want to experience more of you, Jesus. Um, all of you that I can get, Lord, I want to experience all of you. And so just because um, I just want to experience him and um, and so I noticed around the same time I started praying that prayer um, I've been dealing with insomnia uh, now that's been something I've kind of struggled with since I've been in high school this whole insomnia thing I tend to wake up overnight and can't get back to sleep and lately um, like I said, around the same time I've been praying that prayer, I would only get maybe six hours of sleep and then I would wake up and not be able to get back to sleep. So, um, and I'm one of those people who needs um, eight hours of sleep to really function properly. Um, otherwise with six hours, I just feel sluggish and drained and just, uh, not my optimal self so um, and I also have the problem with um, for some reason caffeine um, makes my feet cramp and so um, a lot of people would just say oh just um, drink some drink some coffee or tea well makes my feet cramp so I have to um, watch how much I drink and even just one cup will make my feet cramp and so I have to try to replace it with electrolytes and I've been trying to do it with healthier sources rather than Gatorade that has all the chemicals and sugar in it. I've been trying to do it with healthier uh, stuff but even then it my feet still cramp so I'm in kind of this pickle so um, anyway um, so the Lord I think answered my prayer but just not in the way that I expected. Um, my expectation, of course, was something similar to what I got before, the uh, maybe a cool experience or another word of love or something, but instead I got a trial um, that is forcing me to depend on the Lord because um, also I work shift work, which uh, tends to require me to... Um, uh, have weird hours and requires me to have caffeine in order to uh, function properly and actually I'm going on midnight shifts coming up this next week so I really really need some sleep so I'm highly dependent upon the Lord for my sleep and so um, this Lord has placed this trial in front of me to um, I guess to get me to depend on him some more and so that is I guess would be answering my prayer to experience more of him to depend more upon him um, so I guess um, if any of you have prayed that prayer um, Lord I want more of you and uh, just don't be surprised if you uh, get a trial instead of a blessing um, I guess we have to take the good with the bad, which I guess with the Lord, if he allows a trial in your life, don't just consider it as a bad thing. If he's allowing it, then um, he causes all things to work out for good. Um, Romans 8.28. So um, he will bring you through that trial and he's using using the trial for your good. So um, if, if any of you been in that situation where you just you just want to experience more of Jesus you want more of him you hunger and thirst for him so you've you've prayed the prayer Lord I want more of you but um, 
if you've gotten a trial instead of a blessing, just know that you are not alone. And if you, if those of you who are thinking about praying that prayer, it's still a good prayer to pray. I mean, even today I said, Lord, um, I still want more of you, even if it's in the form of a trial. I want more of you. I want as much of you as I can get. So um, I may be um, keeping more trials upon me by seeing that, but um, the Lord is in control. So um, that's, if he's keeping more trials upon me, that means that um, I guess he is trying to reshape me and uh, he will help me through them. So um, it will be okay. So um, yeah, that was just my um my leading for today i felt like the lord wanted me to share this that um sometimes blessings experiencing more of god it comes um comes in unexpected form so um what i'm hoping is uh, that there is if i keep praying this prayer enough that there is eventually going to be a rainbow at the end of this storm so to speak so um but if not in this life, then uh, in the next life, I will get my rainbow. But um, eventually, there will become a blessing that I will see. But um, blessings sometimes come in the form of trials. So um, anyway, uh, hang in there, everyone. Jesus is coming soon. Um, keep uh, obeying him, living for him, um, trying to reconnect or connect be closer to him so um yeah just keep following him and uh, stay in him and so um i will hopefully see you in the air very very soon love you